Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm recording this towards the beginning of the year, and I, uh, but this is relevant for any time in the year where you are still go going back, returning to trying to change a bad habit, uh, an unwise behavior. And uh, I'll, I'll use the word temptation. And I'm actually really curious what you think of that word. I know for some of you it might sound old fashioned or too Catholic or something. Some of you might be Catholic, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I'm curious if you want to comment below. I, I guess because I have some background in you know Christian training, I, that word makes sense to me. But I'm interested to know generally, those of you who are watching this, how does that word uh, come across to you, temptation? It basically means the, uh, what I just looked it up, the, the dictionary definition is the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Um, a, a thing or course of action that attracts or tempts someone. And uh, so it's the idea of how do we manage our strong desires to do an action that we know from past experience isn't aligned with our values, uh, our deeper, you might say, deeper desires, our spiritual uh, desires and uh, you know it's it's I think it's really important actually for each of us to if you care about personal growth I mean if you care about becoming the best version of yourself that you can be in this life if you care about fulfilling the mission of your life right I mean if I know <laughs> in some ways just just staying alive fulfills your mission. Uh, this earth school is hard enough. Uh, you know, in some spiritual books, it's, you know, I don't know how they find this information, but they say, oh, this earth school is the hardest of all the planets in the universe uh, for spiritual growth. I mean, well, whatever, but it's, it's hard enough. That, that's for sure. Um, all of us have experienced that. So just staying alive and, and just, just being yourself and, and trying to do what you can on a day-to-day -day basis is enough. It really is. It's enough. Uh, you are unconditionally loved. Um, there, there is no, nothing you can do, bad thing, quote unquote, bad thing. There's no bad thing you can do that will take you out of God's love um, and God's unconditional care and unbelievably forgiving, forever forgiving. Uh, and, and you're always going to be one of the most treasured, well, you know, the most treasured um, beings in the entire universe. Always, 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 always. It's always true. And and also, hopefully, from that foundation, you'll be inspired to do more than just the minimum in this life. <laughs> you know. And that's where temptation management comes in. Um, it is the yearning to not just survive and just stay alive day to day, but and to do whatever we can to stay alive, which often means to go into all kinds of temptations because that's what when we can't help ourselves, right? Uh, just to stay alive. But if we want to do more than that, if we say, I, 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 I'm so inspired by God's love by the unconditional love of the universe, um, by the fact that my soul is eternally secure and that my path towards unbelievable bliss and love and all knowledge and power is secure. Nothing, can, nothing I do can take me off that path ultimately. Uh, yeah, I might, I might quote unquote waste some time in this life by by not growing but still still secure the path is always always going to be secure for you knowing and being inspired by that uh may may you know, motivate you towards changing your bad habits and which is not easy obviously just living living staying alive itself is already not easy but let alone you know trying to change your bad habits and becoming better than you were a year ago, 10 years ago, yesterday. 
is hard. So um, what I've noticed as I've uh, yet again, uh, tr I'm trying yet again to change a bad habit that I've had for most of my life, most of my life. All of us have that. You might have something in mind for yourself. Um, I can count <laughs> at least two or three bad habits I've had most of my life. When I say bad, I mean I feel is um, is is basically blocking my spiritual growth. Um, is something that I'm like, yeah, it might feel good to do in the short term. It might feel right to do in the short term. But every time I reflect on it in the longer, mid to long term, I'm like, yeah, I wish I didn't do that. Okay, so temptation management, what I've noticed requires, um, first of all, I think talking about it helps a lot. So talking about it on a regular basis helps a lot because talking about it, whether you're talking about it to another human being or you're talking about it to an AI chatbot. I mean, really, whatever works for you to talk about it, or whether it's like me in front of the camera talking about it to the public, to not to a particular person, but to whoever is listening and watching. Um, you could talk about it in, in anonymous writing. You could start an anonymous Twitter account or whatever account you want to start and, um, and, and write about it on a regular basis. You know, um, you could post about it anonymously on, on Reddit to various uh, active, you know, habit management subreddits. But find an active, and there are various Facebook groups that allow you to post anonymously. You could, by the way, I think even if you post anonymously, I think the admins can see who your what your name is. So it's not, not totally anonymous on Facebook. But anyway, talking about it regularly. And by regularly, I mean at least once a week, if not you know, more than more often than that. So whatever method, find a friend who is willing to be supportive of you to willing to hear you out to talk about this that you can be that can be confidential, or talk to an AI chatbot like ChatGPT, or Claude, or Poe.com, whatever, or Pi.com, or AskPi.com, I think it whatever works for you to for you to be verbalizing and processing that with another with some response back. Um, that's really, I think, the most helpful thing because you have to keep returning. And it's a, it's a battle. It's a battle. You know it, as, you know it well, right? Because r daily life is hard enough that we use these bad habits as coping mechanisms. So that's why we have to talk about it. We have to know that it, is a, it takes real effort and so talking about it helps us keep returning to why it's important because otherwise the, the daily living will instantly and, and continually erode the energy, at the energy of why it's important. It just keeps it, that's just normal. So you have to keep talking about it. And secondly, and I'll end here, it helps a lot to have a, have a basic wealth basic foundation of energy management. I do my energy reboot. You can look it up on Google energy reboot and you'll find my videos about that. I, it must, I must do it in order for me to have enough energy to do something when a temptation arises and to, you know, the way I think about it these days, is, oh, that's insanity. That's an insane part of me that wants to take me into an insane loop that is I've seen before with long term reflection is bad for my my soul. It's bad for my you know maturity. Um, it's insanity. So when that thing idea comes, I, oh, that's a good idea to do that. I'll feel good in a moment to do that. It's insanity. And so at, that's how I'm dealing with it, you know, and, and, and plus a basic foundation of good energy management and talking about it on a regular basis to AI chatbots, to the public, to whomever I can confide in. So anyway, I hope this is helpful in some way. And thank you so much for watching. I, I welcome your comments below on what helps you to manage temptation and even just the word temptation or how would you like to overcoming a bad habit? What, what word or phrase is most motivating for you? 
and how do you go about uh, facing uh, your temptations. Thank you so much.